Hey GCPA, uh, it's Miss Christiana. I'm the education coordinator and a teaching artist at Gateway Center for Performing Arts. Um, and I just wanted to issue my everyday GCPA challenge to you as you are at your houses. Um, my challenge is going to be called the Lullaby Challenge. Um, and as I've been at home and talking with my family and talking with a lot of my friends. We've just kind of been reminiscing on things that we used to do um, to be creative and things that we used to um, to experience as children and um, because, you know, we spent a lot of time at home when we were when we were kids. And so um, I wanted to issue this challenge because one of the most vivid memories that I have as a child was when my dad used to come into my room at night and he used to play lullabies for me um, on his guitar and he would sing to me um, and my mom would sometimes come in as well and sing lullabies not on guitar but she would she would sing lullabies to me and to my siblings um, and so I started to form the this realization that art and music and dance um, all of these can be used as a gesture of affection and a, a gesture of care or encouragement or um, giving um, to those around us. And so as I grew up, um, music and, and any time that I offered my gifts and talents was to encourage others or hopefully to encourage others. Um, and so I wanted to issue this lullaby challenge because I figure that a lot of you also have lullabies that your parents sang to you as children. And if not, um, you're more than welcome to issue a lullaby that you sing today to people that you care about. Or if you want to attribute this, this lullaby to someone, feel free to do that as well. Um, I'm going to attribute this lullaby to my dad and hopefully he is uplifted by hearing this and encouraged by hearing this. Um, so have some fun conversations with your families. Um, have some fun conversations with your friends um, over a, a messaging Think, social distancing, um, talking about different lullabies that you enjoy and um, maybe show some of us those lullabies. Um, make sure you hashtag everyday GCPA and hashtag lullaby challenge. So without further ado, here is my lullaby challenge. Puff the magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Honolulu. Little Jackie Paper loved that rascal Puff and brought him strings and sealing wax and other fancy stuff. Puff the magic dragon lived by the sea. He frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Honolulu. A lookout perched on Puff's gigantic tail. Noble kings and princes would bow whene'er they came. Pirate ships would lower their flags when Puff roared out his name. Puff the magic dragon lived by the sea. He frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Honolulu. Enjoy GCPA challengers. Have a great day.